Hello and welcome to this Dr Ross Maths key skill video on drawing a stem and leaf diagram. Now the good thing about a stem leaf diagram is that it preserves all the values in your data, whereas other charts, for example histograms, only summarise your data, they don't preserve all the original values in your data. And it's really useful when we have two digit numbers, like the 5 and the 3 here, and this 5.3 centimetres. And the way it works is this. We have a grid like this, and on the left, we have the first digit of each number, and these are known as the stems. So the stem of each number is the first digit, and then on the right, we're going to have the second digit of each number. These are known as the leaves. So that's going to be the second digit of each number. And just a note that we need to have these in ascending order, so from smallest to largest. So let's think about these first digits. These need to be in ascending order as well. What first digits do we have? Well, we've got three, we've got five, three, four, we've got a six. So we can see it's every value between three as the first digit to six as the first digit. So let's put those as the stems here. Three, four, five, six. And then on the right here, we're going to put the second digit of each number in ascending order. So let's look at which of these values start with a 3. Well, we've got 3.1, we've got 3.7, and we've got 3.5. Now we need to put those second digits in ascending order. So we've got 1, 7, 5 in ascending order is 1, 5, 7. So 1, 5, 7. And there we go. That's our first row complete. Now what about the 4s? We've got a 4 here, we've got a 4 here, and that's it. So we can see the second digits are 2 and 8, so I'm going to put those down. Now what about the 5s? Well we've got a 5 here, we've got a 5 here, we've got a 5 here, we've got a 5 here. And our second digits are 3, 3, 8 and 9. Now note, by the way, we've got two 3s here and we do have to put duplicates. We don't just put it once, we put it each time we see it. So we've got 3, 3, 8, 9, like that. And then finally we've got the 6s, there's only one number left, there's 6 here, and the second digit is a 0. Now, these numbers are meaningless without some kind of key to say how we interpret them. Like this 2 here, for example, does it mean 42? Or does it mean 4.2? As we actually have here. And we haven't indicated the unit either. So that's what we need a key for. And what we do is we give an example of what something in this stem and leaf diagram would actually mean, a particular value. And it doesn't have to be one of the values in the table. So, for example, we could have 3 bar 8. And that's not in my table, but this is just an example. And if I had 3 bar 8, what that would actually represent is 3.8 centimetres to match the format of these values here. So we would write means or equals 3.8 centimetres. So then if we were to look at this particular number here, we've got the 5 with the 8 here, first digit, second digit, and according to this key, 5 bar 8 would mean 5.8 centimetres.